What's up y'all people? So today we're gonna check the next service which is also very popular and I guess you should try it. So all the tools, all the information about this service I'm gonna tell you right now in this video episode. By the way, all the useful links will be under this video episode. I'm waiting for your comments, I'm waiting for your likes and let's get down to our work right now. So um, Squarespace is ideal for creating professional websites, it has the best quality designs and features on the market, and while it can take a little getting used to, the final results are worth your patience, of course. So I highly recommend you for those and you and for those who care about a design or have a bit of technical skills, this is service is for you. Uh, I would say that you know Squarespace plans start at $12 per month, but we have different types of subscriptions of plans and you know this website builder offers many templates and right now we're gonna talk about these templates so let's check first of all them and you know um, one of thing I adore the most about the template that the content is highly qualified and the next thing that the design is adaptive so we're gonna check it here we have many categories uh, from online store till real estate properties uh, for blog or for portfolio so basically we have many types for uh, for the templates we got right here and I guess that I will um, I will choose the one which I like the most for example uh, let's check preview of my cup and I guess that we will start um, I will work with the editor right here directly working with this template so the thing that which I adore the most which I like the most is that, that we have uh, actually this service uh, has uh, three um, designs so the design is adaptive is for the desktop for the tablet and for mobile phones so basically this is for a desktop so actually it has three versions you know and this is very cool thing you know because uh, um, you have uh, prepared three adaptive design which are prepared for you so this is the desktop version and we can check that the borders right here and right here they are shorter yep and the next uh, which is very thin for mobile devices so that is how it looks like and I guess that we will start with this design so um, basically I can say that uh, Squarespace editor is not a drag and drop editor, it's, it is much more straightforward I would say and um, we are working only with um, each section you know so basically we need to change the element um, and we are working directly with the section. Uh, on the left side right here we have this menu, this is the main menu and of course pages, here we got main navigation, uh, we can add some links, uh, we have a plus sign and by the way we can add the other pages so actually it is responsible for the layout for the pages and we can um, navigate directly with the help of this uh, set menu section and of course add some full there's links, um, store, block, what do you want, it depends on you directly. The next we got a design section which is responsible for a design of the template and we can change right here, um, I would say phone. So working directly with the template you can't, um, you can't um, change the fonts. So a better thing for you, a better option for you, can, you can change fonts right here at the section, in, in the main section of the design, you can change fonts, size, uh, how it looks like, make it bigger or just make it uh, smaller. I would say, yep, in this way, so it may look like this one, yep, so we have main heading, paragraphs, bottoms, basically all the same we got right here, um, and save our settings, so on the next what we got, colors, animations, pacings, and bottoms, image blocks, basically these uh, things are responsible for design. So we can directly change what we want uh, right here. So for example, we can check colors. The main color, Kali, is this one, but we can add it. Yep, 
So the next what we got in the main uh, section, this is commerce and marketing. So I'm talking about the marketing. Yep, here we have email campaign, SEO, location management. We can add some announcement bars, promotional apps. I would say we can add some um, social account stories such as Instagram or Facebook. We can add some URLs. Basically, marketing is responsible for such things, you know, and it's possible to launch email advertising campaigns as I told you which are automatic mailing supporting um, to pre prepared letter layout and scripts and you can create as many letters as you like and of course there is a protection from subscriber spam so I'm um, statistics and mailing drafts and even useful articles on composing such letters however they are in English and of course talking about analytics here we have a section of analytics um i would say that you know squarespace analytics section is very powerful and multi-level no matter uh, don't mind that if we have right here on our desktop where everywhere is zero on the sales and traffic on geography because this is only a template this is not a website but you know um i would say that uh uh, is a multi-level analytics right here at Squarespace and includes statistics on sales, traffic, geography, visitors, product sales, abandoned graphs, sales, funnel information, traffic surfaces, search keywords, activity log, everything you can set up and you can observe right here. And I guess that this is a really nice tip for each person who would like to prepare to make to create uh, a personal uh, web page um, so right now I guess that we will work directly with uh, the template so clicking directly to this bottom yeah we will work with uh, this uh, template but talking about pros I can say that stunning templates optimized for desktop tablets and more mobile devices and this is a really cool option and you know Squarespace um, I would say mobile apps allow you to edit pages blog posts and commerce functions on the go so ability to restore you have the ability to restore uh, deleted posts and pages for up to 30 days and of course um, Squarespace is best for me for you if you are interested in this video episode uh, so and also Squarespace is great for photographers artists and anyone who loves design and wants to create a website to look as good as the content they are showing up online so this is where Squarespace shines you know and if you don't have a high quality images don't be so nervous because you may uh, choose one from the templates or you may upload from street free stocks so um, as you wish but remember that uh, I would say that in my opinion your images should be high quality and of course um, just the extra information that mostly through the you know um, after 14 days of trial more than one or two million of people pay to keep using Squarespace and right now let's move on let's talk about uh, this editor and as I told you that here we have a sections yep and um, this is editor we will work with this editor directly with each section so here we have the header so clicking directly right here we have main settings and here we can that's how we work for example this is the desktop version this is a mobile phone version but right now we are working for the desktop oh excuse me this is for the tablet so we can upload the logo but unfortunately right now i don't have a logo so whatever and right here um, we can uh, change or just to give the name of our site to give a si title so um, let it be let it be let it be so like this one okay so the, so the next we have elements and here we can add a bottom or just hide this bottom so it depends on you social icon size maybe bigger yep or it may be small 
but it, you know everything it depends on you so that is how you can work by the way between two sections actually between each section here we got what we have the bottom which is responsible for added section so basically clicking directly to this element we can add um, the other section such as um, FAQs uh, location menu music pricing gallery images quotes whatever you want so but today I don't want to um, add some sections uh, here the same working directly with this section we have I would say we have um, <laughs> the hitting number one and we can create it in this way and you know it looks for me it looks better and we can make it bold or not bold uh, so basically that is how you work uh, with um, um, with the text but you know it looks like in a wordpress so uh the location uh almost uh the same or if you would like you can even delete it so for example confirm and what we got like here so that is how it looks like so here we have a beautiful girl and the next here we have a bottom and i guess that the bottom is not good right here so i will remove it Okay, so that is how it looks like and what we got. The next section is about um, <laughs> the next, like maybe a little kind of block, you know, we have the image, we have um, the other text. So that is basically how you can work uh, with uh, with this, all of this section. So uh, you can remove them or just you can add right here the other section let's uh, add 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 for example a quote my lovely one um uh, section okay it may um, hmm, the text so let's, let's check the section of the text and quote okay let it be like this one but 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 i would say that um uh, it all begins with an idea okay Okay, um, and like this, right here, um, the next one, in this way, I uh, will be, I would say, in this, mm -hmm. so I guess that is how it looks like. The next thing, it all begins with uh, an idea, uh, edit section, and let's talk about the colors. It may be white minimal or dark, dark bold, black. Okay. Okay. So basically, that is what. We got right here the next mm, section. So basically, you hear talking about uh, Squarespace that it's much more straightforward. Um, but for example, unlike Wix, yeah, in Wix we have um, drag and drop editor, and there we can successfully uh, drag any element we would like to. But here, you know, it is much more straightforward, I would say. And the extra information. Squarespace service has the app and you can even add it your website from directly from your mobile phone, publish blog posts, update your business hours or just add some settings, you know, not only in the template, I mean all the settings, um, CEO analysis to check, to check all the details about your website, yep. And don't worry if you lost your internet because if you go online and expectantly any unfinished work will still be waiting for you when you come back and this is very nice thing so i uh, highly recommend you to start your personal journey of creation your website with the squarespace because it's not so difficult and right here you can practice will be good for you service or you uh, you won't uh, work with 
it. So guys, this is the end of this reviewing video. Uh, I'm waiting for your personal opinion. What do you think about Squarespace Editor? What do you think about my videos, which I uh, made for you? Uh, so I guess that mm, the next video will be about uh, will be about the next service, which you can recommend me and comments because I always read them and I try to be very useful for you. So um, I guess that we will see each other very soon. I'm waiting for your likes, I'm waiting for your comments and thank you for your attention. Bye!